Synopsis of the Books of the Bible. Joshua. By J. N. Darby. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 and 17. Synopsis of the Books of the Bible. By John Nelson Darby. Joshua, Chapter 9. The Wiles of the Gibeonites. But, if such a position as this proclaims the rights of God and manifests the confidence of the people, it soon leads to conflict. The enemy will not consent to the invasion and the taking possession of all the territory he has usurped. But the wiles of the enemy are more to be feared than his strength. Indeed it is only these that are to be feared, for in his strength he meets the Lord, in his wiles, he deceives, or seeks to deceive, the sons of men. If we resist the devil, he flees, but to stand against his wiles, we need the whole armor of God. Christ met his wiles with scripture, in the path of simple obedience, and, when he manifested himself, the Lord said, Get thee hence, Satan. Why the Israelites were deceived. The inhabitants of Gibeon pretended to have come from far. The princes of Israel use their own wisdom instead of asking counsel of Jehovah. This time it is confidence, not in the strength, but in the wisdom of man. The princes of the congregation, accustomed to reflect and to guide, are more likely to fall into this snare. Bad as they are in their unbelief, the people, eager for the result, are often nearer the mind of God to whom the result is sure. The princes had some misgivings so that they are inexcusable. Apparently, there was much advantage in gaining allies in a place where they had so many enemies. The Gibeonites flattered them too, as the servants of Jehovah. Everything was calculated to set their minds at rest. The Sorrowful Fruits of False Peace Four centuries later, in the days of Saul, this produced its sorrowful fruits. To a spiritual mind, the presence of the Gibeonites would always be an evil. Besides, what had Israel to do with allies? Was not Jehovah sufficient? May he give us always to trust in him, to seek the counsel of him, to own none but him, and to be always subject to him. This will ensure victory over every enemy, and the land will be all our own.